Hello everyone, I am your teacher Dr. Satvinder Kaur and in today's lecture I will explain about the difference between the public and private debt which is very important topic of the public finance and public uh, economics. Before the introduction of the topic I will say that if you have not subscribed my channel, kindly subscribe my channel, like, share and comment if any uh, problem related to the topics. So first of all we are beginning uh, with the uh, concept of public debt that what is the meaning of public debt. As the name suggests itself that the public debt is a debt raised by the public that is raised by the government. So this is among the other sources of revenue of the government that is public debt is one of the sources of the government revenue along with the administrative revenue, commercial revenue and tax revenue. So what is the cause be behind the uh, why government uh, raise the public debt? So first for most reason behind the public debt is that whenever the revenue of the government is less than the expenditure, government have to uh, borrow the public debt. Along with this, the second important reason behind the public debt is that the unforeseen government expenditure. That is, there are so many uh, times when government have to uh, spend money uh, in very unexpected way uh, because of some risk and uncertainties like natural calamities, earthquake, uh, flood, war or uh, uh, internal security, etc. So as far as the development of the country is concerned, uh, there are two opinions that in the developing countries, uh, the public debt is basically raised to promote the economic development of a country, that is uh, to uh, eradicate so many problems like inflation, poverty, unemployment, etc. Uh, and in the developed countries, which uh, are already enjoying the economic development, their problem is basically uh, to stabilize the economy at that level. So in the developed countries, the basically public debt is raised to bring economic stabilization in the country. So now after analyzing the meaning of public debt, now we are going to analyze the difference between the public and private debt. So the first major difference between the public and private debt is the kind that public debt is taken by the government and the private debt is taken by the private individuals, uh, companies, corporates, businessmen etc. So any private person is taking the debt is known as the private debt whether it is individual or a company and when it is taken by the public sector whether it is center government, state government or any type of government this is known as the public debt. Next difference is related to uh, the borrowing type that government can take the loan or borrow money uh, both inside the boundaries of the country and outside of it. That means government can borrow internal as well as external like external sources of the public debt are the IMF that is International Monetary Fund, World Bank and other forms of economic integrations like uh, uh, you know there are so many other forms like uh, uh, SARC etc. So uh, in case of private debt usually private people can only take the debt from uh, the internal sources and if external sources are available then it can only be by that is uh, taking money from its cousin who is living in the Australia and so on. So such kind of uh, international organizations are not functioning or not giving uh, debt to the private individuals. Uh, this instrument can only be used by the government of a country. So next is the many sources. Government has many sources of public debt that it can uh, introduce a fresh money, fresh notes through uh, pr by printing the new notes like under the deficit financing uh, to repay the do uh, debt and uh, not only dependent on the revenue sources of tax that is uh, only uh, the, this is not government that is not only limited to the tax sources that uh, government have to repay the public debt through the taxes government has so many other sources to repay the public debt even in some cases it is also given that 
uh, it can also simply deny to pay the public debt in certain cases that which is not uh, in uh, a good uh, thing uh, about the government because it uh, decreases the confidence of the general public uh, in government so government uh, literally very uh, in certain very specific case government can use this source that uh, just deny to pay the public debt but there are uh, these sources are available for the government but in uh, in case of the private debt uh, it uh, should only be returned by the individual income next is government take loan on low rate of interest government uh, because government is uh, taking loan in such a big amount and government can also take the loan from the public sector banks as well or international organizations or central bank of the country as well so government uh, not just because government is taking a large amount large sum of the uh, loan but uh, also because it has a confidence because this is government and and the uh, there is security to give loan to the public sector because uh, people have general confidence in the government that one day it uh, the principal amount plus rate of interest will come back to us so government take loan on very low rate of interest uh, but individuals because of less credit worthiness uh, the rate of interest is quite high because there is a risk to pay uh, loan to the uh, individuals to give loan to the individual because it is not uh, 100% secure that the individual will uh, pay back the loan taken or not so next is very interesting point that public debt can be raised even without need if there is no need to take the public debt even just because to improve the condition of the economy or to uh, control specific problems like inflation the government can raise public debt for example we know that to control the inflation in the economy then there is a, a need to uh, operate the monetary policy so that the purchasing power of the people and money supply in the economy can reduce so to uh, reduce the money supply in the economy government uh, take raise public debt in uh, such case from the general public so that the money in the hands of the people will fall uh, which will further decrease the purchasing power of the people and money supply in the economy so government can take public debt even without need of uh, uh, that is the revenue deficit to finance the revenue deficit next is related to private debt individuals debt is raised when there is necessity no one no individual is interested to take the loan without necessity because as a person has to pay the rate of interest in a large amount then uh, they prefer to take loan or public debt or private debt uh, just because when there is uh, necessity next is the public debt the amount of public debt is basically used for the welfare of the community welfare uh, of the society but uh, private debt is generally taken to finance uh, the personal purpose or personal uh, problems so this is basically the important difference between the public and private debt if there is any problem related to the content or any doubt then you can ask a question in the comment section thank you